so hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem wave array so let's read the problem statement out so we are given a sorted array of distinct integers sort the array into a wave like array in place in other words arrange the elements into a sequence such that array 1 is greater than equal to array 2 and array 2 is less than equal to array 3 meaning like the middle element should be greater than its previous element and the next occurring element if there are multiple solutions, find the lexicographically smallest one. Note, the given array is sorted in ascending order. You don't need to return anything to make changes in the original array itself. For example, you can see here, we are having a void return type. We don't need to return anything. Now, if you see this array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, our output is going to be 2, 1, 4, 3, 5. So basically, if you observe, 1 is lesser than 2 as well as 4. Similarly, 4 is greater than 1 as well as 3, 3 is again lesser than 4 and 5 and similarly 5 is greater than 3 ok. So that order should be followed throughout the array and I hope you understood the problem. Let's discuss this problem in more detail. Now let's say my array is like this and I need to convert it into a wave array ok. So our wave array should look something like this ok. So where this is an element and this element is going to be greater than both the elements and it could be vice versa also okay so let's say according to our output our output was this so if you observe 1 is smaller than 2 4 is again greater than 3 right 3 is smaller than 4 and 5 is greater than 3 so we need to keep the output in this format okay now the first thing that will come into your mind that my array is sorted okay so our graph would be like something like this okay so one two three four five so can't we do one thing we can swap both these elements okay like in pairwise manner so what will happen if we swap two will come first and then one then four will come first then three and then five right so we will swap in pairs and since it's a single element it can't make a pair we will be leaving it as it is so we can get a wave array but since this problem requires you to sort the array right because it might happen that the array is not sorted so you will be taking a n log of n time right but we need to optimize it we need to give the time complexity as the order of n solution and the space complexity should be order of 1. So anyways if you observe what I want like the middle element should be smaller than both the elements or, or this element can be greater than both the elements. So let's say my array is like this. Now in order to make this a wave array what we can do we can have two options either our wave array can look like this or our wave array can look like this. Basically, this is position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you have two options. Either to make the even indexes as a peak index or the odd indexes as a peak index, right? So, let's make the even indexes as a peak index. So, our array was 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, now, since 2 is greater than 1, right? So, we will not be able to make the 0th element as a peak index so let's swap both of them so we have swapped 2 and 1 okay now we will check now our modified array will look like this now we can check is 1 smaller than 3 yes it is so no no need to do anything let's come to 3 okay which is our next even position element so we will check is 3 greater than 1 yes but 3 is smaller than 4 so let's swap both of them okay so 4 comes here and 3 comes here is 5 greater than the previous element yes it is so no need to do anything otherwise we would have swapped it so in this way we can get our answer okay so i hope you have understood the explanation let's see the implementation so here what we are doing we are traversing for the even index elements and if my array of i which is the current index is lesser than my previous index okay so we need to swap both of them so we have simply swapped and if my 
array of i is lesser than the next index element okay so we need to swap both of them and this is a simple code the time complexity for this is going to be order of n the space complexity for this is going to be order of one so in this way we can solve our problem and i hope you have understood the implementation if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching guys